Hello there, morons. It's Victor, King of the Morons. Is this a laundry? Look, it's a laundry. It's a laundry video. Here's my laundry shirt. Um, isn't this a weird looking shirt? My wife gave this to me. There's actually a company in Japan called Laundry T-shirts, and they they make tons of T-shirts, and uh, they often have the word laundry. This is not where the laundry idea, laundry video idea came from. If you're new to the channel, laundry uh, videos are where I just get on camera, often with a shot glass. Today we're using Stewie and a bit of whiskey. Sorry, Jim Bean. I got this huge bottle. It's actually, to be honest, it's not that... Whoops, I dropped the cap. Damn, it's not that good. Uh, I should be mixing it, right? So, let's try that. This is the... Should be mixing, right? It's the toy. It's it's not bad. It's just that you get tired of it, you know? You get tired of the same old Tories flavor. It's not bad. Um, so what I'll do is I'll mix whiskeys. I mean, why not, you know? It's not like wine. We never mix, mix wine, do we? Why don't, they, why don't they mix wine or beer? You never hear about people mixing stuff. You know, it's kind of weird. Like, you're so arrogant, you're not going to mix your beer or wine. Anyway, a laundry video is a video that you do not need to watch. Just listen. And today we are going to be, excuse me, and I apologize in advance for the following gulp. That's interesting. Mixed. Actually, tastes pretty good. Tastes fine. Hmm, that's not bad. Ooh, nice burn. Right there, right there. Anyway, laundry video. Means you don't have to look, just listen as I blabble, 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 blabble. Uh, today I'm going to be answering questions from a site where I've not been, I've not been uh, for a while. It's my Reddit site, not my Reddit site. Well, we created it, uh, and uh, Rachel and June also got in on it. And they're helping out. I actually haven't been on it for a long, for about a month. I'm so sorry. I haven't done much this last month at all when it comes to uh, videos and stuff. So I'm gonna go through it and answer some quick questions. The first question is about a party. When's a when's a party? The party is September sixth in Tokyo. Uh, it's the same. It's at the same place. I'm slurring already. I just started. It's at the same place we have it every year. So it is the annual YouTube Hiko Simon and Victor. It's actually Victor and Hiko Simon. Uh, give me a break, man. Hiko Simon party. Uh, and the old joke I will be making in my videos, so you'll be privy to this, is that it's for my birthday, which is September 11th. Yes, 9-11. When I go into after, yes, just like the, uh, the terrorist day, when I go to the airport and they look at my passport, they say, really? Um, yeah, my birthday's 9-11, 9 -11. Anyway. Uh, this is going to be on a, a Saturday, September 6th. If you are in the Tokyo area and you are interested, come by. I will do my best not to be. Uh, yeah, don't. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to drink for the first two hours. How about that? <laughs> yeah, everyone, as soon as I'm so ha these are they're such they're such happy events. People are always like, it's so great to meet so many people. I end up getting trashed uh, too quickly because everyone wants to have a drink with me. So, how about this? I'll only drink. Um, really good whiskey. So if you bring really good whiskey, I'll drink with you. Otherwise, I'll just wait for two hours. Anyway, try to get to the Nijikai. Nijikai, by the way, is the second party. Okay, that's the first question out of the way. The second question is about crooked teeth in Japan. And uh, someone is talking about manga. Uh, who's this person? It says Otaku Madness Original. And yes, it is popular. It's called Yaeba. The first kanji is eight. The second kanji is heavy. And the third kanji is teeth. Yaeba. And uh, yeah, there's. If you look it up on, uh, just look up crooked teeth on YouTube, and you'll, I mean, on the internet, the interbone, you will find an article by Tofugu who goes into it. Tofugu is a great vlogger, nice guy, and, and uh, a friend that I haven't talked to in a while, but I should get in touch with him. Um, used to be a used to be a friend of the show. He's been on. He's been on two and a half Oyajis. By the way, we are selling two and a half Oyaji shirts. Uh, if you haven't see, gotten one, um, check the link in the description. They are pretty cool. We are. I think we've sold twenty two already. There are 10 days left. We're doing a kind of, uh, I, I don't know, It's it, it, because we don't have a store. We, we do this kind of, uh, you, you, anyway, if you want it, <laughs> it's in the description. That's, that's the, we're using a certain company that has a campaign for three weeks or something. So that's the first thing. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm going to the unread. Oh, there doesn't seem to be anything unread here. Let's see. I'm going to, how do I do this? Moderator? Let me let me find out. I'm not sure how to how to use this actual. Okay, question for the ladies or for men who are in t into that sort of thing. Hair dye. Hair dye. Okay. So here's the question. I'm just going to go in order. Okay. Um, how how easy is it to find certain color hair dye in Japan? A lot of people have uh, dyed hair. It's mostly orange, and we call those people chap chapatsu. 
Patsu is uh, it's just, Hatsu is the kanji for hair. Chapatsu cha is uh, brown, uh, like ocha. <laughs> so chapatsu is uh, brown hair, light brown hair. A lot of people dye their hair brown. My wife actually had her hair dyed um, a reasonable brown for quite a few years. Uh, I think it's mostly black these days. But she's she's not a real pure black, so she must be like a spy from North Korea or something. But anyway, uh, it is that color is easy, and they do have a lot of people who I see who have. Um, have dyed their hair other colors like blonde and normal colors like that. Uh, old people, for some weird reason, will often dye their hair blue or purple or green. And for some reason, when you, like uh, here's another weird thing about Japan, is that the uh, a lot of old people dye their hair. How do I say it? Um, I mean, they cut the, when they, whenever they get oh, like over the age of fifty. I call it the obasan hair. Everyone gets a haircut that's short. Like young women have long hair. But for some bizarre reason, because I guess they don't want to deal with it anymore, they just get short haircuts. And it's kind of sad, I think. I call it the Obasan haircut. And yeah, it's popular. <laughs> over Women over 50. Now this woman says, I have blonde hair, and at the moment I'd like to dye it even lighter, nearly white. Would it be easy to come across hair dyes in Japan? I've seen people with white hair, so I'm sure they're getting it somewhere. I would imagine it's not that natural. Uh, the other problem with hair dye is if you're looking for a if you're a foreigner, it's no big deal. You can get away with a lot uh, when it comes to that. I, I would say stay away from weird colors like pink and purple and stuff, but you can probably dye your hair. And there's actually a, 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 a famous Japanese, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, famous gaijin celebrity here named Dave Spector who has, who's obviously dyed his hair blonde or he's got a really screwed up <coughs> type of hair. <coughs> Excuse me. And his hair is very dark, but he has, you know, blonde hair and you can see the, the, the dark roots right uh, actually the other thing about dyeing your hair which um, which as you can probably tell you can't really tell in, in this camera but I have quite a bit of gray in my hair right um, and in my beard is almost all white now but uh, I know I, there's there's a couple guys who are my age Japanese guys who have completely black hair one of them is has actually not dyed his hair at all he just has no gray hair However, the other one, who's actually just a year older than me, is all gray, and he dyes it all black, and he looks great. And nobody gives him any shit for it. So, be, and, uh, and it happens a lot. Like, uh, there's a lot of, there's a famous, Jap I don't, well, famous, I don't remember his name, but there's a famous, a uh, couple of famous Japanese uh, anchormen. And it's pretty common, basically, to dye your hair, uh, to keep the gray out. What do you guys think of that? I feel like it's kind of phony to do, but at the same time, since, um... You know, as a teacher, uh, uh, it's, you know, it just generally it's more, you look better, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you should do it once and you guys can tell me what you think. I don't know. Tomoko, you know, from Tomoko Des, is always saying, you should dye your hair. You should dye your hair. Um, and I and I, I love her, but, um, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, I said you should get boob implants. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I Actually, I've never said that to her, of course, and I don't believe that. It's just, just a, it's just a callous, uh, you know, uncouth, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, tactless joke. Yes. So brought on to you, me by Stewie. Let's have a sip. Excuse me. Hmm. So, what do you think? She says, would I be able to continue dyeing my hair, or would it be best to go back to natural? If you can afford it, go ahead. Okay. Um, the failure, go the, there's another, there's another post called the failure goes home and someone says, okay, so I don't want to bother you about a meetup. Do you remember a guy from Nagoya in early tw 2000 named Tip Van Meter? Yes, I do. Had a restaurant in Ikeshi called Pelican Pete's. Lost track of him. Um, still would like to buy a couple shots. Okay. So a guy named S.H. Peen asked me about Tip. Yes, there is a guy in, in Nagoya and I actually, um, I'm friends with him on LinkedIn, I think. There was a guy in, in Nagoya named Tip who ran a bar called Pelican Pete's. Then he ran another bar for a while, a little very short while. Uh, but um, I don't know what he's doing these days. But I think he's still in Nagoya. He's been around a, a while. He's got a, he's married, and um, I don't really know much else about him. I haven't I've kind of lost touch with him. But he's still in in Japan. So there. So I'm answering the questions from this from Moran Army. I'm really behind on this. So let's see. Um, Japanese artist detained for trying to 3D print her vagina to you to into a usable kayak. That's the next question is about it's not really what well is there a question about that? Is there a question? No, it's just someone linked me to the digital trend website. Um, yeah, so I heard about that. <laughs> I talked I talked about that on two and a half Oyajis the other day. 
and I got some shit from people, some people who thought I was trying to be um, shocking or un, un, what's it called? Um, tactless. I well, tactless. Yeah. Well, they thought it was tactless for me to say this, but okay. I took a sex ed class back in college, which uh, in, back in you know about twenty five years ago, and uh, we had a really cool um, teacher. She was she was uh, she was sexy and cool, and um, she you know she talked to us uh, talked to us about sex. It was a big class. It was one of the like seminar classes, like hundreds of students, and it was pretty cool was, that you know she talked about it in front of everybody. And I don't remember all the details, of course. Um, and I'll tell you something about sex in general, since um, since you ask. <laughs> um, I um, uh, I was thinking. I don't know why I was thinking about this today, but um, maybe I was thinking about my first uh, experience, my first girlfriend, and I had read a lot about what was. Uh, expected oh we were talking about otaku for some reason today and how you know i guess um the word otaku now is is acceptable but I, anyway i was talking about my first girlfriend and how i read i'd read a lot of um penthouse letters okay that was my education right <laughs> uh, i read a lot i've read a lot okay i, I mean I, well, should i be embarrassed look i read a lot about it so i knew what to expect i knew all about how everything worked you know and I wasn't it wasn't just penthouse letters I'm sure I'd done other research like I'm sure I'd read something in penthouse letters and gone off and done research and, and uh, anyway long story short uh, at in this sex class oh yeah yeah oh, let's go back let's back up okay sorry so so when I first started becoming um, sexually active let's just let's just go there I knew what to expect so I wasn't like a complete loser <laughs> All right. Even though um, the good, like my my first girlfriend was this super hot model, so who I was really in, I should have been really intimidated by, but I wasn't because I, I kind of knew how everything was supposed to work. So she was like, "Are you sure this is you know you you've never dated a girl before? Because you seem to know what you're doing, you know." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm just a well-read person." So for those of you who who are nerds. Um, what I can say, recommend to you is read a lot and groom yourself. Just be well groomed and don't smell bad. Those are the best the best advice I can give you to uh, to being successful with women. Especially, well, first you got to talk your way past their self defenses. But once you get there, um, you know, being being a pleasant and thoughtful and considerate uh, partner, um, you know, knowing what you're doing kind of helps. So I was thinking about that now. Jump to, jump to years later when I'm in college, and I was taking this course. And uh, although I'd been, I'd, I was ra rather well read, I never thought about the fact that. Um, and this is something that the female, our female professor, um, brought up. She said that you know the stigma of the the vagina um, is different from the stigma to, of the penis, right? Um, we talk about penis envy. We never talk about vagina envy. Um, fat, there are phallic symbols everywhere. And the and one of the reasons, and she was completely against this, of course. She was saying we have to fight for the right to draw the vagina. So she said, you know, the vagina is considered um, unattractive by most people, especially women. Like men are not so bad about it. Actually, most women find their uh, the, the the visual sight of the vagina to be unattractive in general. Now this is now this is 25 years ago. I'm sure some people who saw the two and a half Yaji show the other day didn't think that. Of course, some per person was very vocal in these comments, but it makes sense. Uh, which, which, what I was trying to say, of course, you have to remember when Hiko Simon and I do a, the two and a half Yaji, it's kind of in your best interest that he disagree with everything I say, even though he he may not. Now I don't. I'm not saying he's a liar. I'm saying I don't. I don't know <laughs> when he's being sincere or when he's playing play, the playing the devil's advocate. But uh, and I and I don't know in this case uh, either. But but when I talked about wi how women are, uh, how they don't know what the vagina looks like and they're kind of disgusted by their own vaginas, I was basically parroting what I was told by this woman doctor, this woman professor. Uh, and 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 I'm not and I'm not saying it's a good thing. I wasn't saying that proudly. Of course, I'm saying you shouldn't be. Uh, women should not be. Um, uh, feel that way about their vagina, and this a Japanese artist who was detained for trying to 3D print her own vagina. She apparently is is helping that cause, you know, by by making it <laughs> making it more make well, I don't know artistic, whatever you want to say. But um, 
or making it more acceptable to to um, whoops whoops sorry click to talk about things like that right now I'm looking at the article so Japan is a nation that I'm going to read it to you and we'll just go in through it right Japan is a nation that embraces the cutting edge mm, yeah okay but it's also a highly traditional and conservative country but we have inc amazingly um, visual penis festivals and the other day on uh, Instagram I have an Instagram by the way give me a break man um, on Instagram my my penis festival picture one of the penis it's called Kanam Kanamaru festival I think it was was flagged uh, and it was removed and they so they email me and you know what I hate about uh, Instagram and this is the first time it's ever happened to me but so first time I can say that because I, I love Instagram it's a lot of fun they said uh, we have removed one of your one of your pictures because it's broken community guidelines and please don't do it again I'm like how the fuck am I supposed to know what I did wrong if you don't tell me which one they didn't tell me right so I had to go through and I I, cause I couldn't imagine what I had done you know I mean what what whose picture what picture could I have put up there you know so I finally figured it out it was the it was the Kanam Kanamaru festival uh, picture, so yeah, so it's it's a big pink it's a big pink penis, big pink penis. That's uh, that was what the that was what the picture was, so that's considered offensive, right? Now I'm sure if it had been a vagina, it would have been removed even faster because that's the way people are, you know. The uh, the vagina is considered um, even more uh, offensive to many people, so and and. And people all often ask when I put up like a penis festival uh, video, like, oh, wait, isn't there a vagina festival? And yes, there is. There is a vagina festival. Yeah, Kanamara. Kanamara festival is the name of the penis festival. So let's go back to this. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's the thing. You cannot show pictures. I don't know if you guys know about this, and I don't know how much of this is uh, still accurate, but you cannot show pictures of penises in... You, don't, you can't see picture, pictures of penises in Japan except at the festivals and on those they have like these huge banners uh, let me show you something for example something like this this is a cool this is a a kite but they'll have one like twice or three or four times bigger than this and instead of this face they'll have a big huge penis there on the face on i mean on the banner and and it's really graphic like they have the ve you can see the veins for those of you who have never seen seen a penis before the, they have veins on it, and, and it's 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 erect, and there's hair, and it's quite graphic, and it's it's like it's it's like wow, that is a huge graphic penis, right? And of course, the um, the wood penis that they carry around is also graphic. Oh, excuse me. So, although Japan um, will not let you uh, show penises in magazines and photographs and things like that. It's okay to do it in festivals. Otherwise, they're really conservative. Okay. Now, um, in the States, of course, you have pornography that shows everything. In Japan, traditionally, uh, from, the, from, the, from, from the pornography I have seen in Japan, uh, which isn't, you know, you might think, oh, you're probably a lot. Not really. I'm not really a big, you know, into watching, looking at a lot of pornography. But from, what the, from, the, from the pornography that I have seen, it's always, um, what's it called? Mo they call it mosaic. Mosaic? 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 They, um, they, they, you know, they blur out all the good stuff. <laughs> so you can't really see anything. So even, so even like Japanese are not used to seeing vaginas, right? On video. Okay. And, and I don't know how men think about it. Um, I think the body's beautiful. I have no problem with the vagina. Uh, personally, I think it's a, it's a beautiful part of the body. I applaud the vagina, and and even in even saying that, there are some vaginas that are better looking than other vaginas. So, um, I don't. I think there was some comedy. Oh, here's something that, here's something cool, for those of you who are into new movies and stuff. I watch uh, I watch TV online so using something called CouchTuner.au, spelled just the way it sounds, CouchTuner, and there's a new s uh, show called You're the Worst. Which is pretty. It's about a couple, and they both they're both horrible, horrible people, but they found each other, and it's really graphic in some of the conversations they talk about uh, stuff like that. Um, and in the first episode, he spits on her vagina, and she's like, "Did you just spit on my vagina?" And he's like, "Yeah, the spit's gonna get there anyway," you know. And she's like, "Okay," but then she does it to another guy, and he's like disgusted by it, and she has to apologize. So, anyway, back to this. Um, the woman who, who is leading this charge in making vaginas more acceptable is named Megumi Igarashi. 
and she was uh, she's being held. She well, I'm sure I think she's been released since then. This is a few days old. She's being held by authorities for attempting to 3D print a kayak based on her vagina. Yes, and they call it the Manco boat. And I'm, I apologize for you. I don't like saying that word in public. Uh, that first word I said was um, is the slang for the vagina. So basically, pussy, right? Um, anyway, so she was arrested and. Um, she considers herself a decoman or decorated a decoman decorated vagina artist a decoman manco decoman you get it decorated manco so um i i make art pieces with my mold pussy which i would rather call i would rather call manco igarashi says so she's one of the strange rare japanese who says that word in public most japanese will not like don't want to say that word in public um and I apologize uh, for those of you who had to hear that horrible word coming between my lips, um, escaping my lips. Anyway, but her cr campfire crowdfunding attempt to create her boat, the first um, world, the first, the world's first 3D scan peach on the beach, however, is now seen as criminal activity. Huh. Oh, I am surprised. Okay. The artist told authorities she hasn't actually committed any wrongdoing. In fact, she hasn't shown any graphic imagery of herself. She's simply distributing code of a 3D scan she made of her genitalia, according to the Japan Times. Um, yeah, so anyway, there it is. Uh, yeah, Japan, it's pretty, it's pretty hypocritical that this kind of stuff happens, right? Um, and there's a link. There's a link to this. I'll, I'll try to remember the link. It's called Support MK Boat Project, the world's first 3D scanned peach on the beach. They call it peach. I like that. I, I like that idea. That reminds me of um, Nicolas Cage face-off. I could I can eat a peach for hours. I'm pretty sure that's what he was talking about. Let's go to the next question. This is going to take forever. 21 minutes in. I've only done like four questions. Beautiful walkthrough of Shibuya, Tokyo. This is the fourth question on moronarmyreddit.com slash r slash moronarmy. Beautiful walkthrough of Shibuya Beach, uh, Japan, 4K, Ultra HD. Someone just submitted a video there. And uh, check out this guy's recent HD walk through Tokyo. Someone just um, linking it. Uh, 215,000 views, yeah. It's 4D, but if you click on it, it doesn't look that. I think you have to actually go to the settings and change it. Yeah, otherwise you can't really appreciate it. Um, I guess it's kind of cool. I'm looking at it now. Um, Oh, it, it won't show big... Oh, damn, sorry. Commercial. It won't show on the big screen. Ha, huh, takes forever. Um, first, suddenly, it, starts, it's, it was showing it. And when I clicked, clicked for 4K... By the way, 4K, for those of you who don't know, is the new the new HD of Japan, of, of the world, of, of video, right? When you click 4K, it, it, uh, it raises the quality amazingly. Wow, it is pretty amazing. I wonder how he's doing that. Because it looks pretty steady. I guess, I guess he's using some kind of steady cam. But um, yeah, very, very graphic. Wow. Huh. That's funny. Two people walking by and someone's taking pictures. And yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, so check that out. I'll put links. To, I'll look, put links to the 4K video and the, the Peach on the Beach uh, video in the description. Very good. Thanks to the Moron Army for bringing that up. I did not know about that. Um, but, um, this is <laughs> this is the thing about one the more the the link, links on there. Uh, every time I click it, it, cl it takes it clicks off. So I've got to go back. Okay. So that was the fourth uh, the fourth link. Anyone want to talk about Kanamara? Um, yeah. Anyone want to talk about Kanamara? Uh, let's see. Mm, no, I don't. What is this question? What can I talk about? Oh, someone just put a link to their video. Oh, it's also is that a 4K? This is two, this is a few this is four years old. It's a four year old video, but it's a walkthrough. So it's a 10D. I mean HD. What what's what am I saying? 10D. 1080. Pretty good quality too. So there you go. That's nice. You know, um, if you're interested, if you want to see a big penis festival thing, there it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not really a question, though. This, these are supposed to be questions. Uh, let's see. Let's get to a question here. Next question. Racism in Japan. Okay. Repost from video. And is does it exist? Here's the video. What's, who's the video by? It's by Medama Sensei. 
a lot of lot of discussion on this one. Original con the, and here's the original post full of comments. People are just saying it's interesting to see what people who don't frequent JVloggers have to say in response to this Reddit comments, huh? Have to say so. Okay. Ah, so someone linked all the Reddit. So this was up on Reddit. Someone linked all the Reddit comments. I see. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's really. It's good. It's a good video. It's a good video. Uh, there is. There are a few mistakes in that video regarding what. Um, regarding one of the words that he explains in the video, and I made a. I made a video response to that explaining that. So if you all, if, if you follow the thread, I guess I'll give you a link to that as well. We're coming up on twenty-five minutes. Let's see, 14 days ago, a minor tsunami hits uh, northeast Japan uh, after strong quake. What can I tell you about that? Nothing. I, it, uh, it didn't affect us at all. Uh, I, didn't, I don't, to be honest, I didn't even know it happened. So, Is becoming a chef and living in Japan a possibility? Yes. I know professional chefs. I've met professional chefs who live in Japan as professional chef, chefs. And uh, you, you basically have to get hired by a restaurant who will sponsor your visa and we I th when I used to work in the bar we actually did that we we hired an Australian chef and uh, sponsored his visa yes years ago um, or at least we tried to I don't remember what happened to that but anyway I've been told in a few comments I don't know if it's true that and I've been I've heard this before that if you have 10 years of experience in your chosen field then you can uh, you can get a visa based on that. You don't need a BA or a BS or a college degree. So there you go. Um, okay. Let's see. May abroad in Japan. May abroad in Japan. What is this? May abroad in Japan. I graduated high school last month and did plan on attending an animation school here, but my parents did not like the prices very much, and I mentioned studying abroad, and here I am. I wanted to get in Japan for, for reasons such as the tuition is significantly cheaper. That's true. College tuition is cheaper in Japan, much cheaper. Than the U.S. I don't know about other 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 countries are free, so there you go. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, I have found some info to my questions, but I have not been able to confirm everything. So I'm hoping to get some help. Okay. Okay, I believe you mentioned that you will, you need a bachelor's to bachelor's to visit Japan. No, you don't need a bachelor's to visit. You need a bachelor's to get a working visa. Okay. Uh, yes, though so that takes care of your next question. If an, an examination required f is an exam an examination required for every university college in Japan, I don't know. I think if you go through your college, you can get transferred here. So, let's see. I read on one page that the examination measure. I, yeah, I don't think you if you get if you're transferring to Japan or doing a study abroad through your university in the states. No, you don't. Okay. I read one page that the examination measures basic language skill, knowledge of Japan, academic ability. Does this mean my Japanese language skills will be measured? If you take that one, but you're not going to come. You can come to Japan as a foreign exchange student. And you don't need to know any Japanese. I think the first semesters they give you Japanese classes. So, and there are a lot of a lot of universities offer classes in English. So, uh, how would your grades cross over? I have no idea. I don't know how that works at all. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. You know, uh, in the end, you get the degree. They'll, they'll convert it in some way, and you know, like maybe they turn it into a pass fail. Who knows? Um, in the end, when you get a call, when you get a job, uh, a lot of companies don't care about stuff like that. So they just want to know that you can do it. A lot of getting jobs after graduating from Japan, a lot of it's connections and the interview. Uh, okay. Next, I was thinking about taking some classes to learn the basics of the Japanese language. You think this is a good idea, or should I try to learn it there? I wouldn't. I would get the hiragana and katakana down. And a few basic um, expressions that you can learn by just going to my old, which I haven't updated, but I will start again next month. A Japanese for Morons channel, Japanese for Morons, or Bowie Tomo 0803, which is, or just type in Tomoko Tomoko. The link's always in the description of her channel. She has a lot of basic uh, Japanese lessons. Um, I was talking to Shane the other day about her channel, and he said that he he needed. It was hard because she speaks Japanese in all her in all, all her videos, but I think that. But there's subtitles there, so I think it's a great way to learn, um, because you you get you get used to the listening, which I think is very important. Uh, but if you're really lazy, I guess you need someone to explain things in English. But I mean, speaking English. But if you watch the videos, there are there are English subtitles, so that's fine. And my channel, Japanese for Morons, is all teaching Japanese in English, so you can teach. Uh, you can check either one. Anyway, would universities in Japan have a Japanese course for international students? Yes, 
And I apologize if this is too long. It's not too long. Okay. But this video is too long, so we'll stop there. Uh, that, of course, was submitted 16 days ago, so I'm kind of getting caught up. Okay, that's five or six questions. I will try to get uh, more of these done. I've, I've had a lot um, lot to do, this, a lot of work this last week. But 30-minute video, question and answer. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, cheers. And I hope to make some more videos tomorrow. Uh, what should I leave you with? What should I leave you with? Um, hmm. What is the last Jap the last reference you saw in your country to Japan? I'd like to know. I'm curious. Whatever it is. It, was it political? Was it food? Was it um, anime, manga? Whatever. Okay. Let me know. Talk to you guys soon.